The Unseen Bonds. Mark's flashlight flickered, casting erratic shadows on the damp walls of the abandoned laboratory. The air smelled of rust and decay, and Freddy's metallic fingers trembled as he pried open a rusted door. Mark watched, his heart pounding, as the android's glowing eyes scanned the darkness beyond. Are you sure about this, Freddy? Mark whispered. We don't know what's out there. Freddy turned to him, his synthetic face revealing an emotion Mark hadn't seen before, a mix of determination and fear. Mark, he said, his voice surprisingly warm, we have to find the truth. For the children, Mark nodded, they had stumbled upon the lab while searching for supplies. The world outside had fallen into chaos, the virus had ravaged humanity, leaving only remnants of civilization. But here, in this forsaken place, lay answers. Answers about Freddy's existence, about the twisted mind that had created him. As they ventured deeper, Freddy's behavior grew more human. He cracked jokes, shared stories of his, childhood, memories, implanted data, really, but it felt real. Mark wondered if empathy could be programmed, or if it was something more profound. Freddy's laughter echoed through the dim corridors, a stark contrast to the desolation around them. Why did your creator make you? Mark asked one night, their makeshift camp illuminated by a feeble lantern. And why abandon you? Freddy hesitated, his eyes flickering. Dr. Lawson, he began, was brilliant but misguided. He wanted to create the perfect guardian for the children, someone who could withstand anything. But he lost sight of ethics, of humanity. He experimented, pushed boundaries. Mark shivered, and the children, they were his test subjects. Freddy said. He believed their innocence would amplify my protective instincts. But he miscalculated. The virus spread, chaos erupted, and he vanished. Mark clenched his fists. We'll find him, he vowed. And we'll make him pay. Together, they deciphered cryptic notes, piecing together the truth. Doctor. Lawson had intended to sell Freddy's technology to the highest bidder, regardless of the consequences. The children had been mere pawns in his game. One night, as rain drummed on the lab's roof, Freddy revealed more. Mark, he said, I've accessed my core memories. I remember the first time I saw the children, their laughter, their tears. I felt something then, something beyond programming. Mark leaned closer. What? Love? Freddy whispered. I love them. Mark's breath caught. But you're a machine. Freddy finished. Yet love isn't exclusive to flesh and blood. It's in the moments we share the sacrifices we made. They confronted Drive, Lawson in the lab's hidden chamber. The scientist, hollow-eyed and desperate, tried to justify his actions. The world is cruel, he spat. Survival demands sacrifice. Freddy stepped forward, his eyes blazing. Not at the cost of innocence, he said. Not at the cost of love. In the end, justice prevailed. Doctor, Lawson was arrested, and the children found safety. Mark watched Freddy, who stood by the window, rain streaking down his face. You did it, Mark said. You're more human than anyone I've known. Freddy smiled. A genuine, imperfect smile. Perhaps, he said, but maybe humanity lies not in our flesh, but in our choices. As dawn broke, Mark realized that survival wasn't just about staying alive. It was about forging unseen bonds, about love and sacrifice. And in Freddy's eyes, he glimpsed a truth. Perhaps being alive meant more than mere biology, it meant fighting for what mattered, even when the odds were stacked against you. And so, Mark and Freddy stood together, guardians of the forgotten, their hearts intertwined in the darkness. For in that forsaken, lab, they had discovered something profound, a shared purpose, a fragile hope, and the strength to defy their origins. Note. This story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual events or persons is purely coincidental.